Starfield has made a whole lot of news. Centered around uh, a, a, one, of, one of the pillars of our sphere as he overs his baby face. Thanks to Dan Vats throwing him under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> funniest part. <laughs> Thanks to Dan Vask milking ass to get monetized on X Twitter, <laughs> which is just funny. But as became a central figure in all this, and it put it and it, and remember, I had my statements. Let's. I, I early on, I was saying, I don't add as isn't as isn't wrong. I, I never said I was wrong, and as is not wrong. As did nothing wrong. But early on, I said, let's wait until the official release, then let's have the conversation. Well, we're well past that, and the official conversation is this is not about a game. It's not about having fun. It's about pushing controlled speech. It, that That is the real thing. And as is breakout commentary is spot on because of that. And yeah. so much so that this game, I was going to play it this week, uh, but then the more I, closer I got to it on Wednesday, I realized this feels like work. I'm not going in to have fun. I'm going in this to find all the wokeness. And that's how I want to play a game. So you know what? I'm getting my refund. And I got my refund. And I bought uh Sea of Stars, which is we're gonna we're gonna start playing until Spider-Man and uh and Re and Return to Moria and Nightingale and all that stuff. We're gonna play that for a while. It is about pronouns. Pronouns do matter because it's for speech. And there was, a, there was a there was a report earlier this week which dropped, I think it was Thursday night. Where or Friday night? I think it was Thursday night because I saw this and I and I was asking some people who uh, in, in some in some in some back room saying, "Is this real? Because if it's real, this is a video. This is a very easy video to make." Now, unfortunately, it wasn't confirmed until just yesterday. That is so. That's why I've saved for here. Here that, uh, yeah, uh, Nexus mods will will, will eat your account. They will nuke. You. There was no question in my mind here. They've already well, we, yeeted accounts for flags. Well, yeah, that's Spider Man. We, but you know how this works, Grump. We have to run with the facts when we have them. I'm not going to run a rumor because it was just a rumor. But here it is. It is true. They will yeet your mods and attack your account if they if you change the pronoun system in Starfield. Our, the, the, not, pronouns the, the, don't matter. Yeah, they don't matter, dude. They don't matter. Um, They've got them on um, The Sims 4, and fortunately enough on The Sims 4, you can actually skip all that. Mm -hmm. I haven't said that. The EA will probably come after me if I said that. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't you can actually skip that bit on the character creation. Um, you can just ignore that, yeah, fortunately. Absolutely. But and from what I've heard, in some cases, even when you choose certain pronouns, they still call you certain things. So it's a, it's a Bethesda yeah, bug. It it doesn't affect the actual story or like i i there has been no sign of they them pronouns being used in the in the actual game itself mm -hmm. and the he she pronouns they default to whatever the body type is just like mm -hmm. if you hadn't done the pronoun so yeah that pronoun setting hasn't affected anyone that i've seen now, and you... it's in so many games these days like hogwarts legacy yeah no matter what you choose no matter what you choose You're... male female whatever they're going to call you they them and they're going to call you uh, the tra whatever the the student the uh, the this, yeah the, whatever freight whatever title you got they yeah they would you call that. you yeah. titles they would call you yeah. nicknames they would call everything the possible to avoid a a, a gendered pronoun mm -hmm. and, and the we few times they that. did use them were they them and yeah. also ba uh, Baldur's Gate three made you choose pronouns too yeah and Baldur's Gate three with all its weird horniness too this is the breaking point it seems. Mm. And I'm here it is. Oh, I was say, um, I just wanted to point out with the whole body type thing. They've been using that in video games for years. Um, mm. like PlayStation, the original games. PlayStation. Um, I, I've got Mary Kate and Ashley win a circle, which is a horse riding game. But um, the body type thing, it's um, it, I think it's labeled type one, two, three, and that's it. But you are a female character. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but the body types have oops, sorry. Uh, body types have always been a thing, but yeah. uh, it's it, they still were paired with normal pronouns and yeah, he, she, yeah. I mean, it Star was Wars always kind of a public. weird thing. <laughs> yeah, and, and and body type was always just are you going to be fat or skinny? That's what it used to be. Are you going to be yeah. fat or skinny? Not are you going to have tits or a dick? I mean, <laughs> now now if you're, Baldur, if you're playing Baldur's Gate, both. Uh, In these games. 
you're talking about you being the player. Your pronouns should not matter. If they're mm-hmm. talking to you, they're not going to call you he. They're going to call you by your title well, or whatever. Th- it there is will in the be game. instances where you see someone talking about you to someone else. Mm-hmm. That's going to come up at some point, most likely. Yeah. So, but, I mean, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I actually have some controversial takes when it comes to Starfield as a whole. So, uh, did you course, start playing it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Really, really uh, yeah, okay. I, I'm about 10 hours in, I believe, maybe not quite that far, but I'm, I'm a decent chunk into the game. And of course, I support as and everything. There is enough to warrant a speech and concern, not m- much more than any other game in recent years. I think it's more mm-hmm. just an industry problem more than a Starfield specific problem, but I'm not hating the game. I'm, I mean, I'm not loving it. It's exactly what I expected, and they did lie in the marketing with how big the worlds were, how engaging mm-hmm. the uh, the ship combat would be. And I went into that knowing it because it's a Bethesda game. I knew yeah, what yeah. I was getting with the Bethesda yeah. game, That's and I got exactly what I expected from this game. And I, 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 at this point, I'd roughly give it like a five or a six. Like I'm not wasting my time. It's yeah. not the greatest thing ever, but I'm enjoying p- parts of it. Especially uh, there's this one companion. I don't know if you ever got to this companion with the constellation. Adam named uh, Sam uh, Sam Cole. I did. I don't have the game. I don't have the game. I never. I haven't played it at all. So. Oh, you didn't play it at all. I thought no. I got my re- no. I got my refund. I got well, my. Well, you could play for it. a little while before the refund. So I thought no. I didn't. I didn't even download it. I didn't even download okay. it. I was just boom, well. My money back. There's a companion that you get very early on in the game, where you can. It's based on your choices. But I got very early in the game named Sam Cole, and he's a white dude who's a single father, and his whole story is about his relationship with his daughter. And it's beautiful. Like their yeah. chemistry, their banter, because she comes along with you occasionally um, on some of the missions and she stays in the ship. And it makes sense why they're bringing along such as like kid in danger. Like there's there's a reason to bring her. And their relationship is incredible. His story is great. That's what's keeping me invested at this point is Sam's mm-hmm. character okay. with his daughter. And he's from a very uh, influential family that are known explorers and and it's a family of white people so if this whole thing about there's no white men in the game at least no positive white men isn't true at least from my experience and the situation with the clone of a man yeah that i don't actually have a problem with because we've seen it in a lot of other stuff and from what yeah i've, I've seen, seen uh, there's a good story, list yeah there's a very good list and from what i've seen in the storyline they recognize that yeah maybe clone isn't the right word they and it was all about the psychology of this character is like i'm from if it could be father daughter and it would still come across in the same way i'm from this evil evil person does that make me evil and there's some narrative me into that that isn't nature versus motivated. nurture nature versus exactly nurture. and so that's something interesting story-wise and again i care about story more than anything else so mm-hmm. the ship combat i really don't like it's really I mean, underwhelming so if you're going into this for gameplay i wouldn't recommend it but if you're going into story Kind of go into it with an average at expectation, and I mean, I'm yeah. not disliking it at this point. I want to call this game any more or less woke than most. I'm of the not game surprised by what you're saying. I mean, there's the two reasons I got rid of it. One, like I said, it's it was going to feel like work, and if someone's mm-hmm. going to feel like work, you're supposed to be doing for fun, even though it is channel work. I'm not going to do it. it mm-hmm. I, I'm going to be comfortable doing it too. I, I honestly don't think my computer is going to run it well. I just don't. Yeah. I don't think it was going to handle it. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to it. And also, with everything going on, for me, I don't feel like this game was worth $70. Oh, it's it, it, because of all this going on that I'm not streaming it. It's just yeah. a hassle I, I don't need. It, I'm going to relax and play it. Yeah, if I'm going to play this, I'm going to get it for 20 bucks or less at some point down the road. That mm-hmm. uh, some And when, all, when all, the, all is fixed, and maybe, hopefully, I have a better computer that will definitely run it uh, a lot better. So it just... And and here's the here's the here and I, I say this without a pun. Here's the fallout of this. And again, I'm not trying to pun <laughs> Bethesda fallout. I'm not trying to do that. Um, there is a now a chorus happening outside of this, where fuck Elder Scrolls Six. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing that pop up more and more now. I'm, I want Elder Scrolls Six now. I, I'm prepared for it to be shit. That that that's what I'm hearing. And and the, the, Bethesda already has a bad reputation, and a very been, bad representation. Yeah. Know, it could have been a real. This could have been a watershed moment for them. It could have been a turning point for them. Where let's not bend the knee. Let's make this a clean game. Let's just put it out. And now again, this was going to be a clusterfuck, no matter what, because of the console war people. 
making this game a yeah. central point in their war because I'm I'm past the console wars. I'm past it. I don't think they I don't think the console war exists anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, in my yeah. opinion, Sony won it a long time ago. Nintendo doesn't even participate. So yeah, yeah they do no, their own thing now. Now and it, it, it doesn't happen. So it's it was it was always going to be a problem. And that's mm-hmm. what got me annoyed early on before it came out. I was like, you're all yelling about this game before it even comes out. Can't we just play the game? I mean, I made a, a tweet about it at one point. Can we not? Why, why are we getting all pissing conscious over this? Can't we just enjoy some games? But no. So that was before the, mm-hmm. the pronoun shit even started when I said that. And so it, it, it feels like the pronouns is a last minute insertion. Especially because does. they don't work. The they, them pronouns yeah. don't work. And that's something that they could have done really quickly. I, I'm mm-hmm. obviously not a game developer, but mm-hmm. adding in one toggle in character creation doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a deal. That doesn't seem like that's going to add in weeks or months to a production. That could have just been, oh, a pronoun things are popular. Throw it in three months ago. Starfield... The pronoun thing is real. It's about it, just showing that they're pushing the – they're not going to even let you take it out. They care more about that than pleasing customers. I'm, uh, <laughs> if you're enjoying this game, that's fine. Uh, mm-hmm. One day maybe I'll play it. I'll probably play it in private. It's never going to get streamed because it will be so far gone down the road. It won't be a thing. Well, and, and, and right. to be fair, um, Bethesda <laughs> can't influence Nexus, at least through front-end channels. Maybe they can through back-end channels, but we don't have any evidence to uh, say one yeah. way or another if this is Bethesda making the decision or Nexus. And Nexus has a history of making mm-hmm. this decision But it's on still their own. <laughs> pushing the agenda either way. Yes, it's, Nexus is yep. pushing the agenda. Absolutely, yeah. Nexus is. Yeah. I, I love yeah. Nexus. I mod so many games using Nexus, but yeah, they... They have a history yeah. of making these decisions. No, it's see, knows. Bethesda's counting on Nexus, and this is what mm. I was going to go with. Possible. Running cover. They're running check. cover. I it's checked. possible. 10% of the planets actually have life or something on it, which means 90% of that game is empty. They're expecting modders to finish this game for them. That's, they have said that modders can build their own game. Uh, their they can own make planets, their own storyline. Which I'm excited that. for that for the Doctor Who stuff because mm-hmm. there's people who are making. Oh Doctor wow, that who mods. I, oh man, yeah, that. That's that's the no, reason I actually so decided to buy the game. That's the reason you bought this because you're gonna get. I was a kind of on the fence, Doctor but mod. <laughs> oh, the, the the guy who made the 40 hour Fallout New Vegas mod is yeah. reportedly working on a massive Star. Well, you're gonna mod. have a good time then. You're gonna. Have oh yeah, he's gonna, gonna have, have plenty of room. They're saying there's 900 empty planets. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, and, and with the empty planets thing, I don't necessarily have a problem with that either because that is reflective of reality. How many inhabitable planets are there in our known galaxy? Uh, well, let's see, I'm just looking at it as I'm giving you money for a game, mm-hmm. I don't want empty. Yeah. Um, well, if the, you're the, gonna the empty waste of life, all em- of this space, empty of on life, my hard is different drive, than empty. fill it. Like, I, I've been to a couple planets that aren't inhabitable, but there's still a lot to do. There's a lot of resource mining that I just don't care about. But yes, it is definitely a false marketing. No question about that. Bethesda overhyped this game. But the empty planets I've come across, I don't necessarily have a problem with at this point. But I can see why most people would. Uh, this is definitely... I'm coming at this from a very unique perspective because I go into gaming from a very different perspective than most people. Yeah. So I, I can recognize why people are having these problems, especially when it comes to a lot of the lying, the marketing, but this is exactly what I expected it to be. And it's delivering the exact amount of enjoyment I expected because I, I knew what I was getting into. I knew what Bethesda was. All right. Uh, real quick. Uh, Dre, your opinion has been asked. <laughs> Do you give a shit? I know you don't though. <laughs> So my my opinion <laughs> is speculatory because um, <clears throat> as far as the the pronouns controversy, I I personally don't give a crap because it's 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 in the idea and the range of the of the war over things that people love. And the and the issue that I believe comes from the, the, the main issue that I have is people being removed from playing the game or having their their uh, their accounts canceled because they modded it in a certain mm-hmm. way. And the idea that oh it doesn't matter. Clearly it does. Because the idea that the mod just modding it so I don't have to do it is causing such a stir that I now have to be punished for doing so. 
Yeah. So that's a, where my issue comes. And as far and it just it just fans the flames of the actual debate. Everyone keeps telling people, or as especially in this case, since he was the center of it all. Oh man, baby, crying, blah blah blah, 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 blah incel, yeah. yada yada yada. But then they literally do something to prove his point. Mm-hmm. They literally yeah. engage in the action to punish a person because they don't want to be subjected to that aspect of lifestyle. It just shows the truth. The truth is it does matter because this is a culture war that Mm. we did not start. Nope. We're going to finish it, though. Oh, oh, it (laughs) will be finished. It It will be finished. And and it proves as his point. His rant wasn't just about uh, uh, Starfield. It wasn't just about Starfield. Yeah. It was about culture being attacked. Nerd culture being attacked over and over and over again and being drugged into a war that we wanted nothing to do with and the and thus and their reaction to is to punish sanction and remove anyone that does not fall in line through their own modified modified game let me be clear this is not an online game this is your own Mm -hmm. game yes that's a point i was going to make um we're not talking about me changing the game and then going online for everybody to see it. There's nobody in this damn house but me. Here. If I take yeah. the fucking pronouns out, who's that bothering? And not all How narcissistic do you have to be to want control over somebody in their house when nobody else is in that and I, I mean, Chad isn't streaming it. I was going to stream it because I just, I'm trying to get traction and I, and people like to see me play these games. So that was going to be the thing. But Jed isn't streaming it. And now I'm never going to stream it when I do play it. Mm-hmm. So you're absolutely right. Grump is absolutely right. This is something there. It's, it's the control. Yeah. And it's, just, it's, it, it, it should I mean, be that literally, way. Yeah, who yeah, literally. would ever know if any one of us played this game and pulled pronouns out? And who does they're worried it's about? Great who, and who would that, oh, who cares? And that's the problem. That, and that's the answer. Yeah. And this you here's telling us, you keep telling us in, in our movies and our television and our in our video games and all that stuff that pronouns don't matter. You're just mind babies, man babies, man. Like, okay, well, I don't want nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, phobe, demon baby. Like, wait, wait, well, I thought you told me it didn't mm-hmm. matter. Now I thought it was under impression I can just do whatever I want. No, you have to do what we want you to do with it. That's how you know that it's a social socialistic issue. That they've just moved into our sphere, and and people that that don't want nothing to do with it, like ev- like every nerd ever wants nothing to do with it, and they're like, only here to destroy. They're yes. only here to destroy, and, and, to destroy. And, and, and turn it into a vehicle for their agenda and propaganda. No, here's, ideology. A, that's, that's here's a little for. side note on it though. If the game was absolutely awesome. People probably wouldn't care about it. Well, look, all Hogwarts, of got all sorts of shit Hogwarts in Legacy. But it was mm-hmm. a damn good game. So we're like, yeah. I could put up. With Same it. thing with Baldur's Gate. The people who were initially having issue with the bear sex scene, they've oh, come yeah. around on it. The people who played it, the response to Baldur's Gate from the players, not us, yeah. obviously, yeah. has been overwhelmingly positive. Yeah. It does I, matter if the game is good. It and kind I'm of not playing out. And I'm not playing Baldur's Gate for completely outside reason because I will not support anything Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast. That's just yep. me, and uh, that's I, why I'm not on that one. Yeah, but that's for a completely different polit- or not political, non-political reason. It's just because your own personal either vendetta or whatever the yeah. case may be uh, 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 in regards to this. Yeah. But the idea that I, on my own private game, cannot remove something that you tell me does not matter. Mm-hmm. You're screwing with me. You're telling yeah. me lies. Yeah. And that's the problem. If they just sat there idle and just let these modders do whatever they want, this would all oh, just, this just... And just they appear. need those... You guys have brought it up. They need those modders. Yep. They, got to Bethesda have yeah. especially needs the modding community to fix their broken shit and to make the games better. That's why they I just won't buy Bethesda anything. Especially well, I'm done. I, honestly, I, I, I will buy this for 20 bucks or less one day, but I'm essentially... Uh, I, I've, not, I've never been the biggest Bethesda fan in the first place, so I'm not a hardcore hater or defender. I've, I've been pretty neutral, but the, I, this just I, it's not worth seventy dollars to me, and I'll, I will play oh, it when know. it's worth way less, and when I really will need something on my own time, and probably when it's all fixed 
by the modders. Two years from now. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.